Okay, eighth graders, we're going to go through a lesson on determining whether or not two equations are parallel, or they give you parallel lines, okay? Or maybe they give you perpendicular lines. We're going to explore those, uh, those two types of equations, parallel lines and perpendicular lines. Let's start with parallel lines, okay? How do you know? How do you know if two lines are going to be parallel? Well, it um, has to do with the slope of the line. Okay? So in the slope-intercept form of the equation, it's the m. So one of the things you have to do in order to determine if it's parallel is find the slope. If it's already in slope-intercept form, then you can just look at the letter or look at the number for m. And the other thing that has to be true about parallel lines is that they have to have different y-intercepts or x-intercepts. Okay? They have to have different intercepts in order to be parallel. If they have the same intercept and the same slope, then they are the same what? They're the same line. Right? If they cross the y at the same spot and they're parallel, or they have the same slope, I should say, then that's the same line. It's the same solution. So you have to have different y-intercepts in order for the lines to be parallel. So look at these two equations. That one's in y-intercept form. So the slope in this is negative one-third, right? You with me so far? Just nod so I know that you're awake and listening. Okay? And then this one, 2x plus 6y equals 12. How would we determine if these two are parallel? We'd have to put this one in in slope-intercept form, right? So we have to solve it for y. Okay. So we have to get rid of the 2x. Add negative 2x to both sides. So then 6y is equal to negative 2x plus 12. And then divide by 6. Divide everything by 6. And y equals negative one-third x plus two. So are they parallel? Yeah. yeah, they have the same slope, negative one-third, negative one-third, and different y-intercepts. This one is five, and this one is two. Does that make sense? All right. What about perpendicular lines? Page 344. What this one, uh, <laughs> perpendicular lines. I'll come back to them, okay? Perpendicular lines. So these are two lines that form a 90 degree angle, right? When you multiply the slope, when you multiply the two slopes, they equal negative one, or they are the negative reciprocal of each other. If two lines are, are perpendicular, it means that their slopes are negative reciprocals. If one of them is a positive slope, the other one is a negative slope. If one of them goes up one over two, the other one goes down two over one. Okay? So they have to be 
the negative reciprocal of each other. If one is vertical, the other has to be horizontal, right? So that's how you determine whether or not they, the lines are, or the, the equations are perpendicular. So what would you have to do for, to solve these also? You'd have to put both equations in what form? Slope-intercept form. Yep. Again, you'd have to solve both equations for y, and then look at m in the equations, and they would have to be negative reciprocals. Does that make sense? Okay, let's look at some example problems. We looked at one example for parallel lines. Let's look at one for perpendicular lines. Let's see. Let's look at this one, number 32. I'll come back to these notes again so you can finish copying them, okay? So in number 32, we got two <coughs> equations. One is y <coughs> equals 4x plus 3 fourths, and the other one is y equals negative 1 4 x plus 4. What would these two equations be? How would they be related? Perpendicular. Perpendicular. Why? Because they're not parallel. Because they're not parallel, okay. But Two equations that are not parallel doesn't necessarily mean that they're perpendicular. Well, they could just be intersecting. Neither. Right? So what are the what what are the slopes of these equations? Four What's the slope eight. of this one? Four. That was four. This is m. So this one is four, and this one is Negative one four. What if we multiply these two? That would be negative. The answer would be one, negative one. It would be negative one. If when you multiply them they equal negative one, it means they are the negative reciprocal, reciprocal of each other. Yeah. So they're they are negative reciprocals. So that means they are perpendicular. perpendicular. Yep. Yep, you were right. They are perpendicular. So, how, if they're parallel, you just tell immediately if the slopes are the same? Yep, the slopes are the same, but the y-intercepts are different. How do you tell if they're, they're neither? If, they're just, if, it isn't, if the slopes are the same? If they're neither? And uh, it doesn't equal negative 1. All right, let's look at this one. This one is neither. Number 35. So these two equations are y equals 5x and y equals negative 5x plus 7. Are these reciprocals, 5 and negative 5? No, they are what? Negative. No, they're not negative reciprocals. Uh, they're what? Five and negative five. How are five and negative five related? They're each five away from zero. Yeah, so they're called op opposites. They're opposites. They're not reciprocals. They're opposites, aren't they? 
So that's nothing. They have different y-intercepts. What's the y-intercept of this equation? Zero. Yep. So the y-intercepts are different, but they don't have the same slope, so they're not parallel. And they're not negative reciprocals, so they're not perpendicular, right? Yeah. Let's look at number 41. Number 41, they give us two graphs. And it says to find the equation for each graph. Oh, Eric. All right. Oh, you're OK. So on the graph, how do you find the slope? If you're given a line, you have a line on a graph, you can just, what? Just count. Yep. Now, is number 41, are those lines parallel? Yeah. Yeah. So they're going to have the same, what? Intercept. Or slope. What? They don't have the same intercept, it's the same slope. So what is the slope of those lines? Three fourths. Three fourths? Yeah. Wait. Count from one it's, point to the other. It's four five. I understand. Is are the slopes negative or positive? Negative. Positive. Negative. negative. They go down and to the right. So they are oh, negative. That was going to happen to the right. Okay. Remember, the slope is always determined as the line is going to the right. So if it's down and to the right, it's a negative slope. Okay? So we know it's this much so far for our equation because the slope is negative 4 fifths. What are we missing yet? The y intercept. Where does it cross the y? Zero. No. One half. Three fours. Three fours. What points are given? What is one point that's given? Negative three and two. Negative three and two. What if we have the point and the slope? Negative three, two. We have to use the formula, right? Which negative three two? We have the slope, and we have a point, and so we have to use the point slope formula. What's the point slope formula? Is that negative three and negative three? No, it's the point slope formula, people. Oh, he's right. Y. It's actually negative, it's actually it's negative, negative three, three. three. Oh, it's the, the point is negative three, three? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, let's put some in the house. Oh, well, it's negative three, three plus positive three. Negative three, three. three. Okay. So, we have to use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We have to use the point slope formula in order to get the y intercept. So then we need just one point and the slope. So remember how to do this? Put the y in. So y minus 3, because the y is a positive 3 equals m, what's m? Negative 4 fifths. Negative 4 fifths times x minus, minus x1. So minus negative 3, which is plus 3. Remember this? Yeah. All right, so now let's solve this. 
that's going to be y minus 3 equals 4, negative 4 fix. Oops. Fifths x times y minus 3 equals negative 4 fifths x plus 12 plus negative 12 fifths. Negative 12 fifths. Yep, we just multiply good. And then you add 3 to both sides. So that would be what? Positive 3 fifths? Because. Um, oh, to change this to fifths? Yeah. So that would be 15, 15 fifths, fifths, right? Plus negative 12, so that would be 3 fifths. So, yeah. Which equals 15 fifths, negative 12, so yeah, yeah, positive 3 fifths. And then, yeah, so y equals negative 4 fifths. Good. Yes. Plus 3 fifths. Yep. And you'd have to do the same thing to the other line in order to get the y intercept. Okay. So put it in the point slope form. Or use the point slope formula to get to get that. Any questions? How do you know if lines are parallel? Class? Same slope, other different, different lines. Yep, and if they are perpendicular, they'll have Slopes that are the Opposite. negative, negative reciprocals. reciprocals. Yep, exactly.